Hey guys, today we have a full length, full body kettlebell workout. You only need one kettlebell, so grab that. And before we start, we're going to start with a warm up. To begin, you're just gonna step out to one side and squat down and then back to standing. We're doing just body weight squats, warming up those legs. Hope you're feeling good today and ready to work. Step out, squat as low as you can, keeping your back flat. Next up, we're gonna do some high knees. Going straight into these high knees. Get those knees up as high as you can. You can do a little hop from one foot to the other or more of a march. All right, now we're going to do a reverse lunge up to a balance while twisting. Keep your hands behind your head here. So lunge back on that right leg, then come up to a balance on the left. Right leg comes up and you're twisting to the right side, working those obliques. Good job, we're gonna do it on the other side, same thing. Left leg steps back to a low lunge, come up and twist to the left side. Keep your elbows back, hands behind your head, leading with your shoulder rather than your elbow. Good stuff. Next up, we're gonna do some arm circles. Get that upper body warmed up. So let's start with arm circles going forward. Start with your elbows bent. Working your full range of motion. Get your arms as wide as you can. Now straighten your arms all the way back, up overhead. Forward and down, repeat. All right, now we're gonna go backwards. So same thing, start with your elbows bent and get that full range of motion. And go ahead and straighten your arms, same thing. Just a few more of these. Next up, we're gonna do a quad stretch. So go ahead and stand on one foot, bring the other leg behind you, grab that. You might wanna hold on to something like a wall for stabilization and push your glutes forward. Keep your knees together. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your leg. All right, go ahead and do the other side. Remember, knees together, pushing your hips forward. Great job. That's it for the warm up. Now we're gonna get started. So grab that kettlebell. We're gonna start with a kettlebell swing. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and flat for this. This is gonna be halfway between a squat and a deadlift. So hinge forward at the hips as you bring the kettlebell down through your legs and then squeeze your glutes as you pull it up. All of the motion should be in your legs here. Your arms are holding the kettlebell, but your legs are doing all of the work. And then we're going straight into mountain climbers. Set that kettlebell down and 30 seconds here. Push the ground away from you and keep your hands under your shoulders the entire time. We're gonna mix these exercises throughout the workout. So we're just doing one set for now. Good job, take a short rest. And next we're gonna get into our first set of repeated exercises. The first one is a goblet around the world lunge. 
So bring that kettlebell up, you're gonna hold it with your hands in a goblet, and you're stepping forward to the side, and then back behind you in a curtsy lunge. And then do the same thing on the other side. So step forward, back to standing, step out to the side, make sure your knee is staying directly over your toes, and then bring that leg down and around behind the other one into a curtsy, knee to the ground. Good job, keep going. Take a wide step forward so your knee doesn't go too far past your toes and get as low as you can. Ideally, you want the top of your thigh parallel to the ground. Great job, we're going straight into diamond push-ups, so get ready. If you can't do these, you can also do them from your knees instead, that's perfectly fine. Get your hands on the ground, fingers together so that they make a diamond shape. Going down and up. Keep your elbows at a 45 degree angle to your body, so not straight out to the sides. Bring them in towards your sides a bit. Keep your head up, push the ground away from you. Ribs tucked, hips tucked. Great job. Take a rest here. We're going to rest for 30 seconds and then we're going to repeat these exercises for a total of three sets. So that was the first set. Get a sip of water and get ready for the next set. Alright, we're going to start again with the goblet around the world lunge. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders back and down, taking a wide step forward and a wide step out to the side, knee directly over your toes, lunging as low as you can. You're doing great. We're getting into the diamond push-ups next. Just a few more seconds of this lunge. Great job. Set that kettlebell down and get your fingers in a diamond shape directly underneath your chest, down and up. Do this from your feet or from your knees. Just make sure that you're keeping your body totally aligned. One straight line from head to toe or from head to knee. Just a few more seconds here, stay strong. Great job with round two. Take another 30 second rest and then we're gonna do one more round of each of these exercises. Starting our last set of the Goblet Around the World Lunge. Here we go. Taking a wide step forward, 
Knee down to the ground, shoulders back and down. Keep that back flat out to the side, and then your leg comes around behind the other for a curtsy lunge. Same thing on the other side. This is the last 90 seconds of this. Keep it up, you're almost done. Keep going for just a few more seconds and then we're gonna go straight into our last round of diamond push-ups and then we'll get into some other exercises. Get your hands in a diamond shape directly under your chest. Going all the way down and all the way up. Keeping your shoulders down, pushing the ground away from you, space between your shoulder blades. Remember also to keep your elbows at a 45 degree angle to your body. So bring them in towards your side a little bit. And finished with that, great job. So we're going back to what we did in the very beginning, one more set of kettlebell swings, supersetted with mountain climbers. Get ready for the swings. Here we go, 30 seconds. Equal parts, bending the knees and hinging at the hips, leaning forward as you bring the kettlebell behind you, and squeezing your glutes, pushing up with your legs, swinging the kettlebell up. Just a few more, and then we're going straight into mountain climbers. Good job, set down the kettlebell, get on the ground, Hands are directly under your shoulders, not too far out in front of you. 30 seconds. Great job. Now we're going to get into our second set of exercises. So we're going to start with five plank jumping jacks followed by a high to low plank. So jump out and in five times from your hands, then going down to a plank on your elbows and then back up onto your hands. Repeat this. Make sure you're alternating sides whenever you do the high to low plank. So if you do one on the right side, do five more plank jacks and then do one starting with your left arm. We've got 60 seconds on the clock, you got this. All right, just a little bit longer, and then we're supersetting this with single leg lunge jumps. So getting into a wide low lunge, jumping up on the right foot, and then landing again on the right foot, lunging back with the left. Jump up so you're staying in a lunge on your right leg the entire time. We're doing this for 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. Jump up high and lunge low. Here we go, other side. Keep your nose over your toes in the lunge so that most of your weight stays in that front leg and then use the explosive power of your legs to push off into the air as high as you can. 
Also, move your arms in the opposite motion of your legs, just like how you walk. That's going to help with balance and momentum. Great job. Take another 30 second rest. It's just these two exercises in this set. Get a sip of water and then we're going to start again with the plank jacks and the high to low plank. So five plank jumping jacks, out and in, both feet at the same time, and then going down to a plank on your elbows, back up onto your hands. Repeat. This is a lot of work in the upper body. I know it's tiring, but you got this. Stay strong. Sometimes it's interesting to see how bodyweight exercises can be some of the hardest exercises. Keep going for a few more seconds, then we're going straight into those single leg lunge jumps again. All right, lunge low on one side, nose over toes, so most of your weight stays in that front leg and a nice flat back. Then using the power from that one leg to jump high into the air and back into a lunge. You're doing great, stay strong. A few more seconds here and then the same thing on the other side. Good stuff, switch legs. 30 more seconds and then we'll rest again. And rest. Amazing. You're doing so good. Another 30 seconds here and then we're gonna repeat these two exercises before getting into our next section of the workout. Here we go, get into a plank position, get ready. Five plank jumping jacks, in and out. And then down to your elbows, up to your hands. Make sure that you're keeping a nice straight line from head to toe. You wanna keep your ribs tucked, keep your abs tight so your lower back stays up. You don't want it to sink toward the ground, keep it safe. Hips tucked as well in a nice flat plank position. And when you go up and down to and from the high to low plank, you wanna make sure you're keeping your hips and shoulders square to the ground, so try not to sway back and forth. You're doing so good, keep it up. Then we'll get into our last set of single leg lunge jumps. Here we go, wide lunge, down on one leg, knee to the ground, nose over toes, and then jump up into the air, arms going the opposite of your legs. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out whenever you jump up. That's gonna help pace your breathing and keep you going through this. Just a few more seconds and then we're gonna do the same thing, other side. Here we go, switch legs, last 30 seconds here, you got this. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Nose over toes, flat back. You're doing great. Don't stop now. A 
few more seconds here. Almost done. And rest. Amazing. Great job. We're going to get back into our kettlebell swing, supersetted with mountain climbers. So get that kettlebell ready. 30 seconds of each. And use the power in those legs, swinging high, and then all the way back down through your legs. Hinging forward at the hips, keeping your back flat. Breathing out when you push the kettlebell up, breathing in when you bring it back down. A few more seconds and then we're gonna get into the mountain climbers. Awesome job, set that kettlebell down, mountain climbers. Hands directly below your shoulders, remember not too far out in front. I'm very out of breath at this point, I don't know about you. If you are, let me know, leave a comment, let me know how you're feeling. Good stuff. Rest again. And next we're doing a lunge row. So these are unilateral movements. So we're just doing one side and then the other. Let's start at a nice low lunge. Make sure that your leg isn't extending too far past your toes. So get that back leg far back wide lunge. One elbow on your knee. And with the other hand, you're rowing up to your rib cage and all the way down. Keep your shoulders and hips square to the ground. Next up, we're gonna keep that kettlebell in the same hand. Rack it, so bring it up so it's leaning on your shoulder. Hand at about heart level. Also staying in that wide lunge and we're just going to lunge down and up. Back knee all the way to the ground, and then standing up, staying in that lunge position with your feet wide. A few more seconds here and we're going straight into the other side. So hold the kettlebell in the other hand, we're doing the lunge rows again. Switch legs, get in that nice wide low lunge. One elbow on your knee, keep your shoulders square, rowing up to your rib cage. Up and down like this for a few more seconds and then we're gonna rack that kettlebell and lunge. Great job, keep your feet in that same position, just lunging up and down, bending and straightening those knees. Keep your hand at heart height, try not to raise it up too much, and keep that kettlebell leaning on your upper arm and shoulder. So get your elbow forward a little bit so that it doesn't fall down. That'll help keep the kettlebell secure. A few more seconds here and then we're going to rest. Great job. Just a 15 second rest here and then we're going to get into our second set. Starting with the first side, same thing, lunge row. Get ready. So a nice wide low lunge, elbow on your knee, shoulders and hips square, rowing up to your rib cage. Good job, a few more seconds, and then going straight into the racked static lunge. If this is too difficult, you can also just keep the kettlebell by your side instead of racking it. Staying in that wide position, bending your knees and straightening them, lunging down and up. Good job, a few more seconds here and then the other side, starting with the row. You're doing great. We're halfway through this exercise. We're just doing three rounds of this.
stay strong. I know you're tired. Rowing all the way up to your rib cage. Get that elbow high up to the ceiling. A few more seconds of this, and then we'll do the static lunge on the other side, either in the racked position, or if that's too difficult for you today, just keep that kettlebell by your side. Here we go, 30 seconds on this side. Almost done, keep it up, you're doing so good. And rest, awesome job. We just have one more round of this. Stick with me, so we're starting again on the first side in that lunge row. Rowing all the way up to your rib cage, keeping everything in line. Hips and shoulders square. And then either racking that kettlebell or keeping it by your side, doing static lunges up and down, try to get that back knee to the ground. Good job, a few more seconds, then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, last round. Starting with the lunge row, here we go. and then rack that kettlebell or keep it down by your side for the static lunge. Last 30 seconds of this. Great job, and rest. Going back to the kettlebell swing, supersetted with the mountain climbers. Get ready. Here we go, hinging forward at the hips, bringing that kettlebell all the way back behind you, and then using all the power in your legs, squeezing your glutes at the top of the motion, push it up. Almost done, a few more seconds, and then the mountain climbers. Good job, set that kettlebell down for the last time. We're gonna get into mountain climbers. This is our last set of this, and then we're gonna get into abs. So keep your hands directly below your shoulders. I can't emphasize that enough. Just 30 more seconds, you got this. And don't forget to breathe. And rest. Done with that. Great job. We're going straight into abs from here. We're gonna do three minutes of abs back to back. No break here. And keep your elbows back leading with your shoulders. Try to get your shoulder to the opposite knee, lifting that side of your upper body off the ground and then switch. Straightening the opposite leg, getting it as close to the ground as you can.
Great job, we're almost done with this one. The next one we're gonna do is a dead bug, going straight into this next ab exercise. So grab the kettlebell if you want to, or you can just do it body weight. Lying on your back, you're going to extend your legs and your arms at the same time, and then bring them all back together overhead. If it's too difficult to extend both legs, you can extend one leg at a time. So both arms in one leg, then bring everything back together, then extend both arms in the other leg. Bring it all together. Alternating legs. Whichever you choose, just make sure that you're keeping your lower back on the ground the entire time. That's where your abs come in. So you have to work really hard to keep your back down. You're doing great with this. Just keep it up for a few more seconds and then we're going straight into a plank pull through. So you're gonna use the kettlebell for this as well. Get ready. So in a plank position on your hands, you're going to start with the kettlebell to one side of you. So if you start to the right side of your body, you're going to lift your left hand off the ground, grab the kettlebell and pull it through to the other side. So when it's on the left side of your body, use your right hand to pull it through to the right side. Make sure you're staying in a nice square plank. Hips and shoulders square to the ground. Do as minimal swaying side to side as possible. It helps too if you get your feet a little bit wider. That'll help keep you more stable. But this is mostly in the abs. Keep them tight, keep them working. Pulling side to side. You're almost done with this one. Keep it up, few more seconds. Great job, and we're getting straight into our cool down, starting with arm circles, just like we did in the warm up forward. You can bend your elbows or straighten them for this. Getting that full range of motion, all the way forward, all the way overhead, as far as you can behind you. And then we're gonna do the same thing backwards. Next, we're gonna do some neck rolls to loosen up your traps. A lot of people hold a lot of tension in their neck and their upper back and things can tighten up, especially during a workout. So we wanna get rid of that. Rolling from one side down, tucking your chin and to the other side. We're not gonna roll back because that can just put a little bit of strain on your neck. So just from one side down and to the other. Good stuff. Next up, we're gonna get into a forward fold. So just keep your legs straight and bend forward down toward the ground. You can grab your legs and pull yourself down further into the stretch if you want to or just let gravity do the work. This is a tough workout. I can't emphasize enough how good you've done. So next we're gonna move to our right side. So keep your feet slightly apart and bring your upper body down to the right side. Grab your right leg and pull yourself toward the ground. You can keep your hips square or turn your body out towards that right side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Upper body down towards that leg. Pull yourself to that leg, keeping your hips square or turning out towards your left side. All right, let's get down on the ground. We're gonna do a figure four. You're gonna put one ankle over your opposite knee and then sit up as tall as you can. Use your arms behind you to leverage yourself up even higher. Getting that good posture is gonna give you the stretch that you're looking for here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So opposite leg, ankle over your knee, sitting up nice and tall. You should feel a good stretch in your glutes and in the side of your leg.
All right, this is my favorite part. We're coming down to the ground, lying on your back. Bring one knee up, bend it, grab it with the opposite hand, and bring it as close as you can to the ground, looking towards your opposite hand. Try to get your shoulder and your knee to touch the ground. Take nice, deep breaths. And then go ahead and switch sides. So back to a lying down position. Bend your other leg, grab it with the opposite hand. Look the opposite way. Deep breaths. My back always cracks when I do this one, but it feels so good. And then lastly, we're going to do a child's pose. So that yoga pose, get into a kneeling position, bring your arms as far as you can in front of you, and just relax. Let gravity stretch you out. You did an amazing job with this workout. That's it, that was 35 minutes nonstop with a lot of high intensity. Great job. If you liked this video, smash that like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content like this, more full length workouts. And thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video.